Hi you guys and welcome back to another video. Super excited because today is our first appointment for baby number two. With Rocky, I got an appointment like at four or five weeks just to like confirm the pregnancy because I didn't know what I was doing and I just wanted to confirm. But this time around, I haven't. So we actually have not had an appointment yet and I'm eight weeks today, which I think that's the more normal thing to do. But it's just not what we did last time. So I'm just like super excited to finally see this like baby on a screen and hear the heartbeat. I've known for a little over <clears throat> three weeks, I think three weeks and two days. And there's just been like nothing tying me to the fact that I am pregnant. I mean, of course, besides my symptoms, which I will share a little bit later because I definitely have not been feeling good. But yeah, I'm just excited to confirm it. I'm excited to see the baby and it just like make it more real. I wanted to show you guys my little eight week belly. I got something on my leggings, so they're wet because I like scrubbed it off. So just don't mind that. This is my little belly. I mean, I just look bloated, I feel like, but Yes, I'm eight weeks today. Baby's the size of a raspberry, which is so crazy. Yeah, it feels so, just so insane that I'm doing this again. Rocky will turn one in six days, and I'm already eight weeks pregnant. It's freaking nuts. I'm gonna vlog a bit when we head to the appointment because I want you guys to hear like Nathaniel's opinion too, but it's been a rough couple of weeks, and I'm just excited for this because I feel like it's gonna give me like something to like look at and just kind of hold on to when I don't feel well, so. We'll see you guys at the appointment. I'm so excited. We are on our way to the appointment. So the biggest thing that I want to like get clarity on is the fact that we are not having twins, which I know is a very irrational thought. Your grandma has twin sisters though, right? Yeah. So that's the only twins that run in our family. That's literally like generations away. But I've had not one, but two nightmares that we had twins, which it just would be so much and that's why I'm calling it a nightmare because I already know how hard one child is having two at the exact same time would be so hard so yeah I'm very excited to have clarity on that and then of course just like see the baby and stuff but I also wanted to touch on how I've been feeling I definitely have not been feeling good at all if you guys have been following me you know that Rocky has had a stomach bug and so the timing of that and morning sickness has been so bad so I am so thankful that Nathaniel works from home and can help me because he has literally been a lifesaver. I don't even know what I would have done if I would have had to have dealt with that all by myself. So yeah. I just wanted to know or share what your thoughts are on everything. Like Um, I'm excited. Like I'm <laughs> I'm ready to like hear the heartbeat and uh, but I feel like I'm more stressed just because the initial checkup is always like, oh is it real? Is it good? Yeah. You know, is the baby yeah. okay? And, so. I know, which I don't feel like we have any reason to believe no, otherwise. I just, it's just kind of like a fear. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel like, I feel kind of shaky right now. Like, I'm just excited for some, like, clarification as well. Yeah. We're also seeing a new doctor, and I feel like we have to, like, update them on my first pregnancy. And I'm curious what they're going to say about the whole gestational diabetes thing, too. And if I'm going to have to be screened early, which would literally be in four weeks, which sucks so bad. appointment was literally nothing to show you guys didn't hear the heartbeat didn't have an ultrasound literally just talked to the PA or what was it a PA yeah it was a PA. yeah um, which she was super nice which was super great because like I said we switch offices and stuff but anyways we're gonna have an appointment tomorrow morning so I'll just like resume the vlog then but the shitty part is I literally have to be screened already for gestational diabetes at eight weeks so if I have it I'm literally going to have to track what I eat for 32 weeks until April. <laughs> Fucking April! <laughs> so, anyways, you can tell I'm upset, but it's all good. We'll figure it out. And yes, I will just show you guys the appointment tomorrow. We're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Round two, bring in the B boy. Is it usually busy this time? Uh, Hello, yeah. I can't shake the simplest feeling. No, 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 no. Yeah, five minutes. Mm -hmm. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, no, no. I reach through mysterious ceilings. My home. home. I look for the things I know. For all in this, I stand alone. 
Okay, we just Show had the me. ultrasound. Um, they don't know, I feel like she just didn't want to like, I don't think she can say much, but I was just like, yeah, that's how they always are. Expecting it right? to be a yeah. little more detailed, but here's our little ultrasound. It's just one. Thanks the Lord. <laughs> Hits him on the head and he laughs harder. <laughs> yeah, <boy>. <laughs> <laughs> We're back home. I got my blood work done for just like the prenatal care and the glucose test. So really quick, I had to take the test because I'm more likely to get gestational diabetes since I had it with Rocky. If I pass this one, I don't have to do anything until the 28 week mark which i will then take the test again and we'll go from there if i don't pass it i have to take a three hour test now if i don't pass that then i have it if i do pass that then when i'm 28 weeks i have to take the three hour test right off the bat so it's kind of confusing but i should pass this first one my placenta isn't like big enough really to be excreting any hormones that would be messing with my glucose but they just do it like as a precautionary kind of thing. So yeah, this is literally what the baby looks like. <laughs> a little peanut. I'm exactly eight weeks, one day, and April 6th is my due date, which is what I thought based off of my last period. So yeah, everything looks super good. We are so excited to have this little baby here. Hi. It has been quite a bit since I filmed this video. You guys are watching. I'm actually currently almost 13 weeks. But I realized that I didn't like wrap up the results with you guys and I wanted to do that before I moved on. So I got my results back and my glucose was great. It was 87, which I used to do a bunch of blood work with my nutrition job and 87 is perfect number. So I'm good so far. Basically, they were just pre-screening for me having type 2 diabetes because sometimes that can develop after having gestational diabetes. I don't know. I think they're just being like extra cautious, but... I don't have that and um, now I won't be screened until I'm 28 weeks. That is when my placenta will be fully developed and that's when it starts to affect your glucose levels more. So until then, I just get to enjoy pregnancy and not worry about tracking my blood. So I'm really relieved about that. Um, we also have been back to the doctors since this appointment. I went at 12 weeks and the baby's heart rate was 161 beats per minute. So if you guys are into old wives tales, then you can kind of play what you think with that. But I will be filming that video here within the next week and sharing with you guys. And then we find out the gender in eight days and then I'll share with you guys that following weekend. So lots of exciting stuff coming up. I hope that you guys are enjoying this pregnancy content. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your love and support. It has meant the world. I will do a full on update video next, just kind of talking to you guys now that you all know I'm pregnant and we'll go from there. But yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.